current direct touch surfaces use one or several contact points as input, but do not accommodate the rich actions people use to interact with physical objects. In this video, we present Shape Touch, a set of interaction techniques that utilize contact shape and area on an interactive surface. Our techniques are prototyped on a computer vision based interactive tabletop which provides shape information of the user's hands or other physical objects on it. We calculate all motion information throughout the touch surface to fully leverage the expressiveness of all inputs. Virtual objects can be manipulated in ways similar to how physical objects are manipulated, such as dragging, pushing, or pinching. The amount of contact area on the object implicitly indicates the amount of virtual force applied to it. For example, to apply different constraints to the movement, or to flick an object at different speeds. Different forces can also stop an object instantly or gradually. For a stack of objects, a large force moves the whole stack, a small force moves the object on top, and the medium force fan the stack out. Objects can also be peeled to enable easy ordering. A very large force pins the object and prevents other objects from moving over it. These actions can be combined to manipulate objects in a casual and natural manner. Conventional control widgets can be augmented to utilize the shape information. A button can be pressed using a larger virtual force and rearranged using a smaller force. Multiple buttons can be pressed simultaneously. A button may also be stretched out to review more detailed options. For critical actions, a button with a special shape implies a special posture to operate it. Multiple sliders can be adjusted at the same time. A slider can also be adjusted by pressing the arrow buttons. The virtual force applied determines the speed. Some objects can be scrolled by either using the scroll bar or directly dragging on the content. The content can also be flicked at different speeds by applying different virtual forces. A single finger performs local operations such as selecting an item or annotating a document. To move the entire object without triggering local actions, the user can either push on its side or use a larger virtual force to drag it. The contact shape on the surface can also be used to indicate a region of interest for interaction, such as defining a magic lens or selecting a group of objects. The selection area can be adjusted dynamically. Users may also use physical tools to facilitate tangible interaction blurring the boundary between the virtual and the physical worlds.